The project is a twin span structure to the north of the existing bridge. It includes eight full width travel lanes, two emergency access lanes, and a single pedestrian bike lane on one span. Each span also includes two breakdown lanes. The bridge will be built with necessary components to add mass transit facilities as soon as the land-based systems are decided upon by local and state governments and operational. Cost of the new spans is estimated at $5.2 billion. Construction will take between four and five years. Up to 10,000 design, direct on-site, and dedicated material and project facility jobs <coughs> will be created. Another 10,000 or more induced jobs will be created in support areas like equipment, truck, auto, trailer sales and service, marine equipment, fuel supply, food services, office space requirements, housing, hotel use, staging area support, and so on. <coughs> the new bridge will have a 100 year plus design life and will be a dynamic new, as I said, cable stay or arch design, seismic structure spanning the Hudson between Tarrytown and Nyack. The federal government for up to three billion dollars for the construction under a variety of different loan mechanisms that are available, loan and or grant uh, mechanisms that are available. Some would be straight federal aid, some would be what's called TIFIA loans, uh, and there are other funding sources at the federal government as well. And no longer, remember years ago we always heard about earmarks? And this project probably would have been built under an earmark. Well, Congress outlawed earmarks about uh, two sessions ago. And uh, uh, now we have to go through this different process in order to find the funds. That's $3 billion of the money. The state government will apply some dollars, and then there's uh, certainly going to be uh, some bonding for the project, uh, which will result in uh, higher tolls uh, for users of the bridge. Uh, in order to pay off that debt over a long-term basis. Could be 30 years to 45 years, whatever. 